Dreamy has a new release. It's an upgraded version of a previous vacuum of theirs. It's the D10S Plus, which now has a silicon main brush. The idea behind that is that long hairs shouldn't tangle up in that brush as much as the ones with bristles. Suction performance is now 5000 PA, and this model does have an AI-enabled camera. So you can use it to remotely view your house. Perhaps you want to log into it with the app and take a look and see if your little dog's doing okay, or just do a quick tour of your house for security purposes. But it also has another function, which is AI obstacle avoidance. So it can detect things like socks, shoes, cables, and go around them without having them jam up inside the vacuum. And as you can see, it does have this, which is an auto empty station. So it goes back into this, empties out the 570 milliliter dustbin here into the four liter dustbin. And because of its capacity being so large of that four liters, you don't have to empty this for some households until about every 65 days. So rather handy, you don't need to touch the dustbin, you don't get dirt or debris anywhere, you simply pull it out and then throw that into the rubbish bin. It's got app support, LiDAR mapping, and it does have a runtime up to 280 minutes with its 5,200 milliamp hour battery. Now included in the box you will find our user manual. This is in various different languages. There is a quick start guide to get us up and running as fast as possible. We have a spare bag for the auto empty station. So this has a four liter capacity and they do claim that it can last for up to 65 days. And here we have our mop. Now this mop has a capacity of water, the tank in it of 235 milliliters. And this is a microfiber cloth and it's just simply stuck on there with some Velcro. So very easy to remove that, to clean that, and to top up the water, to add the water, it's just right here on the side. And then finally we have our power cable. Oh, and almost forgot the side brush right here too that I will need to install. So we don't get a replacement side brush, but we do get a replacement auto empty bag at least. As I mentioned in the intro there, the big changes are the suction performance. It's now 5000 PA. The main brush here is a silicon main brush and it is suspended. So it moves up and down to adjust to different floor levels. For maintenance, it's very easy to remove that cover over it, take the brush out to clean it. But they do state because of the style now, it should not get so many hairs tangled up around it with the new silicon style sweeper brush. And it's a little bit better for different floor surfaces. Putting it back in, very easy. So we have the two ports here. This is to do with the auto empty station when it goes up into it. It'll be pushing air through and sucking from the other side. That's gonna ensure that it will not block up. Installing the mop module. So that's a water tank and a microfiber cloth. It just clips into place and then it will know that it's got the mop on it and it will go over to the mop mode. So vacuum and mop at the same time. The wheels are suspended. We do have the side brush that I have already installed obviously there and a front 360 degree wheel that is removable for maintenance. We have the two charging contact points and some downward sensors there. So it will not end up toppling down a stairwell. It will detect those falls. This Dreamy bot does use LiDAR navigation at the top. Now this is something I recommend that if you're gonna be getting a robot vacuum cleaner, stay away from the models that do not have LiDAR navigation because this is very fast, accurate mapping and it doesn't ping pong all over the place like those older models used to do. They're just simply annoying and very outdated now. So we've got a spot cleaning button power button and home button right here. And you'll see that we've got our AI action camera at the front. So this is something that's new now. It can detect objects like shoes and socks and even pet feces. Yes, it can avoid that, go around it. So that's something that's very useful, especially if you have little dogs inside an apartment or something and they accidentally do their business. You don't want it smeared around every, of course. And you can also log into this camera and check on your pets too, or just check up and have a look around your house if you are away, which is handy to have that feature. And we've got your typical sensor to at the front, the bump sensor. So if it does accidentally bump into something, it will know that's pretty standard there.
So there is a built-in speaker. We have the air that's filtered is blowing out the side here out the back and gaining access to the dustbin is not difficult. You just lift this up right here. You can move the, remove that dustbin like so. And the washable filter here is two stage because this is the final stage of it. And we do have a first filtration stage, which is that fine mesh, which stops debris clogging up the filter. A lot of older models from different brands didn't have this in the beginning and the filters would clog up very quickly. So that was a little bit annoying. Now you normally don't have to empty this, of course, if you are using the auto empty station, but if you do need to empty it, you just open it up on the side like so, and you can then empty out the contents of it. So the build quality of all of these components, they are very good. We've got a status indicator here for the Wi-Fi reset, and this here is the cleaning tool for the main brush. You can use that to remove the hair that will, yes, still eventually get wound up around it, and the brush there for cleaning. And our auto empty station. So the capacity of this is four liters, those bags that it does have up the top of them. They are disposable, very easy to remove. When you remove them, they self seal. So you don't have any of the debris going anywhere. It's very clean and it can last for up to 65 days. So our application is called Dreamy Home and I do have it set up clearly with Android. You can also get it with iOS with your iPhones. So you do need to register, you have to log in. You do need to pair it up to your wireless network. And you can see now that it's all set up, we get this main menu here. So I can go over into the real time camera so you can monitor your house, you can go into that, you can move about, and you'll see that we've got options for start cleaning and start recharging. Now, if you just tap here, you can go then into, have a look at the map so you can see that how much it's cleaned, cleaning time, the charge at the moment. So I do have it charging, and this is the map, and it will point out the little squiggly line where it has been cleaning before. So for the cleaning options, you can tap on this and you can see we've got different cleaning cleaning modes. So you can have it just to mop, mop and vacuum, or just vacuum there. And you can set the wetness of the mop, the suction performance. So in the turbo setting, that is the 5,000 PA. You've got cleaning sequence. So imagine you want your kitchen to be done last, then you can set that up with the application, which is good. Uh, we have our map management here. So going into that, you can add different levels. So you can also look at a 3D map too. But the map management, I have my downstairs and the upstairs area mapped out. So when you go into these maps, you can customize them too. So if I wanted to, I could split it. You can add the no-go zone, virtual boundary, things like that to the map is possible. And if you want, you can also get it to automatically switch over. I've got it manual switching mode at the moment, which is the default, but it'll detect the map automatically and then swap over if need be. So you can do the zoned clean, so you can just set the area you want it to clean. Imagine you want it to clean just around the dining room table, then you can do that. You have the whole house, the whole floor area, or just rooms. And you can set how many times you want to clean, just like this spot cleaning. In the settings here, you've got your cleaning history, scheduled cleans that you can set to automatic have it come on, uh, your preference to be mopping, accessory use, so it will tell you when you need to replace things, AI recognition, so if you've got a pet, maybe little dogs that sometimes actually do their business on the floor, well, you probably want to enable this one because it does have the poop detection, so it won't be smearing it around all over the place. Hopefully, but later on, I'll tell you how that AI detection does work for objects it does see, like shoes and things. Uh, you've got uh, various other different functions in here. Firmware updates, I have had one already. So the app is pretty much fully featured. There is a lot in here and I've only just touched the surface. Now I was very keen to see, is this style of brush going to be like the others that I have tested out? So we don't have the bristles. And in my test where I got it to go over a mat, I did lay out some cornflakes cat hair Long human hair, quite a bit of it, and I stood over it, pressed it into the carpet, which would commonly happen. You know, the hair's gonna fall down, people will walk over it, and other bits of grime and things. And setting the suction performance then to the maximum, which is the 5,000 PA, it proceeded to go over it and get rid of most of it, but I did notice, like what I've seen with other brands too, with this style of brush, that the long human hairs is a bit of a problem. It can't really pick them up so well, especially on this style of mat. You can see after a second pass, there was still a bit there. 
and it's still left a couple of hairs there. So that to me is the weakness of this particular model here, is that if you've got a lot of carpets, a lot of mats, and you have long-haired animals, cats and dogs, and with human hair too as well, it's gonna struggle a little bit with that. Now the human hairs and the other hairs and everything on the hard floor was not a problem. In fact, it did a fantastic job of cleaning the hard floors without the mats, without the carpets. So of course, goes in and out of your dining room chairs, it will go under beds, goes all around the outside. No complaints, it is the standard LiDAR mapping and it zigzags across everything. It leaves no gaps at all, which was really good. Now the AI avoidance, we have this feature and I really like this feature. I think it's fantastic. It's what these robot vacuums do need. So with my test, it was a shoe, a child's toy and a cable. Now the cable and especially the shoe, it saw that very quick. It marked it even on the map and the cables will mark it on the maps and it went around them, no problems. The child's toy, it tended to bump into a few times and push it around a little but it didn't get stuck under it, which was great. Now, also, if you've got pets, then you can enable through the application, as I showed you, that option to get it to detect their poop. So it'll go around that. So that's a very handy one. But I've got a cat and she doesn't, we don't have to clean up her business or anything like that. So I wasn't gonna be testing that anyway. Now, how loud is it? So I'll just give you a very quick sample here too. This is first the vacuum on the standard setting, which is in the middle, and then I put it onto the turbo setting, which is at 5,000 PA. It's around about 60 decibels, the maximum noise it makes. And what is even louder is, of course, once it's done all its cleaning, it'll go back to the auto empty station. So this has, it's really like a vacuum in here too as well. And it's using their dual boost system that they call dual, dual boost 1.0. So it's pushing and then sucking as well out of the dustbin from the robot vacuum, which is 570 milliliters into that four liter compartment. So it is a little loud. Here's a sample of exactly what to expect when it does engage the auto empty mode. Start auto empty. Then of course that camera is not just used for AI obstacle detection and avoidance, it is also, you're able to log into it. And this is a handy feature, I really do like this. I've used it with other brands. So you can log in, you can move the vacuum around and do a security check, perhaps check up on your pets. As you can see here, Vera wasn't really too fussed about it. It didn't make a lot of noise, it didn't scare her either. And it's nice to have that option that when you're away, when you're out, that you can log in and you can check on your pets or just check up on your house and do a bit of a remote security tour of them. Handy, good feature. So the mopping performance, this is one area where it has surprised me because when you take a look at the size of the mop, it's cut down a little bit because of the auto empty style of this. It's got the extra holes in the bottom, but it did really well here. This is my typical mop test where I make a very stubborn stain. It's coffee ground and mixed with dirt. Yes, and I smeared it over the white tiles here. I let it set and then put it, the vacuum to the job and it actually did a surprisingly good job. You can see the more it passes, the better it is. So very, very stubborn stain like this. I expected it to leave quite a bit behind or at least in some areas, it did not. It cleaned it all and those little black dots you can see, little speckles, they are actually little chips in my tile. So they're, it's not baked on grime or anything like that. So the mopping performance is pretty good and the house has been looking quite clean. So overall, the cleaning performance is good for hard floors. If you've got a, a lot of them around, then definitely recommended for that. The auto empty station here, very handy. You don't need to, of course, touch and empty the dust bins at all. You can just wait until it's full and then you just pull it out, chuck that, throw that into the bin. It's just the, for me, the hair collection is not so great with carpets and mats. And that's why if you've got a lot of long haired animals and things around, 
then you might find that there's still going to be hairs left behind because of this style of brush here. So thank you so much for watching my video of the new Dreamy D10S+. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.